What's up everybody, we are back with another Exotic Weapons and Catalyst video, and this one is on the Dead Messenger Exotic Grenade Launcher, which by default is a Void Energy Weapon, and I'll get into what I mean by that here in a little bit. Now in this next part, I would typically go over the Exotic Weapons perks. However, as of August 2023, which is when Season 22 Season of the Witch launched, Dead Messenger is now a craftable exotic weapon. So once you obtain this weapon's weapon pattern and unlock all of its available perks, you can then go in and choose whichever perks you want when you reshape the weapon. Now with that being said, there are a couple or so perks that are going to be on every single version of Dead Messenger. Now the Dead Messenger that you see on the screen here is a little bit different than the Dead Messenger that you will obtain as a weapon pattern because this is the original version of Dead Messenger that became available back in Season 16, Season of the Risen in February 2022, and I'll get more into that later in the video. Now as for the perks that you will find on every version of Dead Messenger, one of them is the origin trait called the Fundamentals. And Earlier I said that by default this is a void energy weapon, with the fundamentals you can change that. So long pressing the reload changes this weapon's damage type cycling between solar, arc, and void. Additionally, it grants different stats based on your selected damage type. So if you have solar selected, it increases the reload speed and aerial effectiveness. If you have arc selected, it increases the handling and range, and if you leave it on the default of void, it increases the stability and aim assist. Additionally, every version will have a kill track of a PvE and PvP, and every version has the same intrinsic trait of Trinary Vision. This is a one-shot handheld grenade launcher, aka a breach-loaded grenade launcher, and the projectiles release a fan of three energy waves on contact with the ground. So this is a wave frame grenade launcher, but unlike normal ones which just have one big wave, this has three waves that split out. Every version of Dead Messenger will also have the same Exotic Catalyst perk once you unlock the Catalyst, and that Exotic Catalyst perk is that using this weapon to break the shield of a combatant or a guardian using their super will grant you an overshield. So a brief little history of Dead Messenger in Destiny 2. Dead Messenger was added to the game back in Season 16, Season of the Risen, which launched in February 2022 and was the season that ran concurrent to the launch of the Witch Queen expansion, so it subsequently began Year 6 alongside the Witch Queen. So back in Season 16 and through the duration of Year 6 of the game, Dead Messenger was obtained through the exotic mission called Vox Obscura, which you can see playing here on the screen, and you just had to complete the normal version of the mission to get the weapon. To get the Catalyst, you had to complete the Master version of Vox Obscura. And then after you got the catalyst to upgrade it, it took 700 kills using Dead Messenger. Now, although the Witch Queen had introduced weapon crafting to the game, the original version of Dead Messenger was not a craftable weapon, as I mentioned earlier. And that version that I was showing on screen earlier was that original version with its original perks, which if you obtain the weapon now, it's the default perks that you would get from the weapon pattern itself before you unlock other perks. Now because Vox Obscura was seasonal content for Season 16, it got removed with all the other seasonal content when Lightfall launched in February 2023. However, in Season 22, Season of the Witch, which was the third season of Lightfall or third season of Year 7, Vox Obscura along with a couple of other previous exotic missions came back through the exotic mission rotator. And additionally, with this new exotic mission rotator, those exotic weapons became craftable exotics if they were not already craftable beforehand. So to get Vox Obscura in Destiny 2 today, or more specifically its weapon pattern, you'll go under the Legends icon and come here to where the exotic mission rotator is located when Vox Obscura is available, and you will simply complete this mission on the normal difficulty to obtain the weapon slash weapon pattern. And as of the time of this video, this exotic mission rotator is on a three week rotation and rotates in order from Presage to Vox Obscura and then Operation Seraph Shield. 
With that weapon pattern obtained, you're going to go to the Enclave found under Savathun's throne world and go to the relic to either shape or reshape your dead messenger. Now, with your basic version of the weapon pattern you just obtained, you will have a very limited number of perks to select when shaping this weapon. To get the other perks, you're going to have to have successive runs of Vox Obscura on either Normal or Legend difficulty to unlock all the other perks. Now, to obtain the Exotic Catalyst, which is the perk coming up here called Turnabout, it is obtained through one Legend completion of Vox Obscura. Now, if you had unlocked Dead Messenger and its Exotic Catalyst the original way back in year 6 of the game, the Exotic Catalyst will already be unlocked for you when you come here to reshape the weapon. As for upgrading the Exotic Catalyst, since Dead Messenger is now a craftable exotic weapon, there is no requirement for getting X number of kills with the weapon. Instead, once you unlock the Catalyst from a Legend run of Vox Obscura, all you need to do is go back to the Enclave and reshape the weapon and apply the Catalyst when you reshape it. To make a quick note here, these three perks are unlocked from the Legend version of Vox Obscura after you've unlocked the Catalyst. So you'll have to do Vox Obscura on Legend four times, once for the Catalyst, and then three more for these three perks. Now, although you get to select what perks you want on your own version of Dead Messenger, depending on your own playstyle, or maybe a specific build, maybe an arc build or something like that, I will give you what are considered the God Rolls for both PvE and PvP. So these are the god rolls that are considered great in both PvE and in PvP. For the intrinsic trait, Trinary Vision 3. For the barrel, Quick Launch. For basic trait 1, High Velocity Rounds. For basic trait 2, Demolitionist. The origin trait and catalyst will only have one option which are the fundamentals and turnabout and the stock will be short action stock. So to recap the video, to obtain the Dead Messenger Exotic Grenade Launcher and more specifically its weapon pattern, you must complete the Vox Obscura Exotic Mission on the normal difficulty when it is available in the Exotic Mission Rotator. To obtain its Exotic Catalyst, it comes from your first completion of the Legend version of the Vox Obscura Mission. The other traits that are available on the weapon will come from successive runs of Vox Obscura on Normal or Legend difficulty and to get three of the perks you have to first unlock the Catalyst and then do three successive runs of the Legend difficulty. There is no requirement for upgrading the Catalyst you just have to unlock it and then reshape the weapon with the Catalyst applied. Thank you very much for watching, please leave a like down below, also make sure to subscribe because I have other videos like this available and I'll see you in one of my other ones.